Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we'll need some cards. And we'll need all the cards except the kings, the jacks, and the tens. Queens will be zeros, aces will be ones, and two through nine will fill out the rest of the deck. These will be very useful. We'll also need a bit of cardboard. That'll make sense in a little bit. And we'll need some coins. Coins are going to serve as decimal places. Oh, and we also need a bear. So let me show you how this works, and then we'll play the game. I'm going to set out four cards, and we'll start with these. Aces are ones, queens are zeros, and there's a four and a two. I'm going to take one coin and use it as a decimal point. Right now, without the decimal point, we could say this is 1042. But if we put the decimal point here, it's a different number now. One and 42 thousandths. If I move the decimal point here, this becomes 10 and 42 hundredths. If I move the decimal point here, this is 104 and 2 tenths. We're only going to use the decimal point in these three places. Now how the game works is that there will be players, and there could be more than two players, but for today we're going to have Ted and we'll have his friend Vero. And they're going to be playing the decimal game. Ted is going to deal out four cards, a six, a two, an eight, and a queen, which is a zero. Now what Ted's going to do is find in this deck the same numbers and give those to Vero. So queen, a six, an eight, and a two. Now Ted is going to construct a number with these four cards and using the decimal point. And Vero is going to try to make the same number through good guesses. So Ted is going to take these cards and the decimal point and think about them for a minute, about what should be made with them. Ted will also make a blind. So I'm using this cardboard here. And I'm going to fold it in half, like this. And you can do the same for yourself. And then Vero is going to not see what Ted is guessing. So this looks good right here. I'm going to turn it like this, and now Ted is going to construct a number. Now using these, Ted can mix them up in any way Ted wants to. And Ted is deciding to make this number. Right now it's just an 8, a 0, a 2, and a 6. But Ted's deciding to put the decimal point right here in the middle. So the number is 80 and 26 hundredths. So this is Ted's number. We'll leave that up here for Ted. Now Vero has the same digits and also has a decimal point. Now Vero's going to try to make a guess, and as she guesses, she's going to get information from Ted that will help her get to Ted's number. So let's get started. Vero starts by guessing a really large number. Vero guesses 608 and 2 tenths. Ted says, that's too much. So Vero tries this instead. By moving the decimal place, it's no longer 608. It's now 60 and 82 hundredths. And Vero says 60, 82 hundredths, and Ted says, that's too small. So now Vero has to organize the cards and the decimal point to make a better number. So 680 was too much, and 60 is too small. So Vero decides to make 608 and 2 tenths. And Ted says, that's still too large. Looking at the cards, Vero has one more choice in the hundreds. This is the smallest hundreds she might make. Well, maybe. This is 602 and 8 tenths. And Ted says, that's still too much. So Vero decides to change the 2 and the 6 to make a smaller version of the hundreds. And Vero says 206 and 8 tenths. And Ted says that's still too much. Now this is the smallest hundreds that Vero can make. So Vero knows now that the decimal point is going to have to go here. And knowing that, she's going to rearrange the cards to get close to Ted's number. She knew that her earlier number, 60, was too small. So what could she make? 
she knows it's going to have to have probably the eight in the tens place and maybe two in the ones place. She's going to try this. Vero says 82 and six tenths. Remember, this is a zero. And Ted says, that's too much. Well, what else could be made? Vero tries again with the, with the 80. This time, trying instead 80 and 62 hundredths. 80 and 62 hundredths. And Ted looks at this and says, nope, that's still too much. Now, from all the previous guesses Vero's made, she knows these two cards are the only ones that can be moved. So she changes the six and the two and says to Ted, 80 and 26 hundredths. And Ted says, that's the right number. Well done. Now it's Vero's turn to hide the number and Ted's turn to guess. This is the decimal game, and what you need for this game are cards. Remember, aces are ones and queens are zeros, and twos through nines as well. Some kind of coin for a decimal point. You'll need cardboard to make a blind, and you'll need a friend. And what else will you need? Oh, you'll need a bear. Hope you enjoy this game.